Hey, Jim Toscano here, and welcome to the Thursday night live stream. I almost said Monday night, and then I was going to introduce Carmine Peace. He's right. No, no, he's not here. Um, so uh, I hope that you guys have been checking out some of the Monday night live streams, having some fun little interviews going on. So my guest this past week was David Garibaldi. The week before was Don Famulero. So if you missed those, they are archived. Ar archived? That's a... Where am I from? Minnesota. Um, they're archived over on the YouTube channel, uh, Jim Toscano YouTube. Uh, if you just type in my name, it'll come up, I think. And um, so, and I have Stanton Moore coming up this Monday, which I'm very, very excited about. And it's going to be a fun hang, and we're going to talk shop and talk uh, drum education and um, technology a little bit, and also some inspirational ideas and also about some of Stanton's projects that are coming up that are very, very cool that I think everyone will be excited about. And then um, later on this month, I have just a bunch of different guests coming on. Uh, and on April 19th, it's really funny, you know, as a kid, one of the first drummers that I ever saw playing on TV was Peter Chris from Kiss. And so, you know, as a 10-year-old, seeing this guy on this ginormous drum set you know with the makeup and flames and all that stuff it kind of drew my attention so one of my first rock and roll influences was was peter chris and then shortly thereafter i got into mahavishnu which was <laughs> really a strange jump but um i'm doing um a show about that drumming that that i first came to know and we have a guest uh named mike brun that's going to be on mike brun um who has uh, a show called The Rock Perspective, and, and he's got um, a lot of followers, but he's he's uh, interviewed a lot of those guys that played in the band and played in that band over the years, and so it's going to be kind of a fun deep dive into sort of the trivia about all of that, and I also have Daniel Glass coming up later on. I have Joe Bergamini coming up pretty soon, and Peter Retzlaff coming up. Uh, just a whole bunch of guys, and um, the interviews are going to be really super fun. So I'm very excited about that. Dave Stanoak, my good buddy, is going to be on too. And so now tonight, of course, we're doing the Hand Technique Workshop. I have my Zoom squad waiting in the wings. We just had our little Zoom squad over on uh, Oh For Drum Sake on their podcast. And so we were interviewed as a group, which was really kind of fun. And, you know, kind of about how this whole thing has evolved and it used to be a live event and now it's this live streaming event. And so uh, we were just basically hanging out with Janine and John Gill and talking about this. And so there's going to be more of that kind of stuff coming up in future uh, events as well. So but without any further ado, let me bring in the Zoom squad because they're waiting patiently in the wings. They want to hit their practice pads and they want to play. Everybody wants to play. Uh, here is the Zoom squad. There they are. Look at these beautiful smiling faces. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I do want to mention, and it's on the front of my little hand technique workshop booklet, uh, Sabian Symbols, which they're in the background. You can't really see them that well. And also ProLogic's practice pads, which ProLogix has some really cool new products coming down the line. I have a prototype upstairs for something which I can't discuss. It's top secret, so don't even ask me. But it's going to be a really cool pad and some new technology that they're using, which I really love. And uh, so we'll be talking about that pretty soon. And I also want to thank Offset Pedals and also Black Magic Designs, who provided this beautiful switcher over here that I'm using, which you can't see, but it does switch my cameras when I'm running multiple cameras. Um, all right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to introduce everybody, and then we're going to get playing. So I'm in the top square pointing to my head. Very exciting. And then over there, Bob Sears, there he is, up in the top square. I feel like we should have trivia contests since we're all in these squares and then get points and win money. Uh, right below me, there's Pat Ross. There he is. Very excellent. Great to have Pat Ross all the way from near Erie, Pennsylvania. And then if Pat Ross points to his other side, that's Ross Amoroso. Uh, the other way. Yeah, point the other way. <laughs> He's pointing down. No, there he is. He's waving. Yes, indeed. So Ross is, a, is another drum educator, very talented musician as well, and the Cannoli King. 
from Ohio. <laughs> and um, and then right underneath Ross, there's John Schneider. There he is. Excellent drummer. I've, I've known John for many, many years. And uh, I had the pleasure of having him as a student, which for me has been uh, a tremendous experience because he's super into it. He's just so dedicated and energetic about drumming. So there is John. He's a lovely boy. I was at the conference house this morning. I should call you. I know. I was there at 5 a.m. though. No, it wasn't 5 a.m. It was 6 a.m. Uh, so you're probably sleeping. That's why I don't come bother you. And then next to John, if he points that way, <laughs> next to John, everybody always points the wrong way because it's, it's actually you have to point the opposite way. Yeah, point the opposite way, John. And then it'll point towards Lucia. There you go. There's Lucia Rose Seminara. Last but not least, in the bottom square, there she is in her in her drum studio and music studio with her piano, her Pro Logics, Green Logics practice pad. Green Logics. Woohoo. And um and I see some fantastic books on the wall behind her. And um and her Sabian symbols. Gotta love it. And um yeah, so that's the crew. Uh, the six of us tonight, Rocco's a no-show. I think we should do kind of, you know, every time I do the introduction, I'll just go, sorry, we ran out of time for uh, for Rocco. We won't be introducing him. And then we move on. Like, um, who does that? Jimmy Kimmel does it with uh, Matt Damon. Sorry, we ran out of time for Matt Damon. Um, <laughs> all right, so I think... Where is Rocco, you know? Yeah, like well, Rocco, poor Rocco. Actually, I take that back. He might be late. And... John knows this. He's he goes to LaGuardia School of the Arts in Manhattan and has to travel on a train to a ferry Used to, to a thing. You know, he's probably in a rowboat right now in the middle of the Hudson. Used to have to go. Yeah, yeah. So it's you know, it's it's rough, man. These kids, uh, that's dedication. You know, they get up super early, take a train to the ferry, go into Manhattan and study. You know, at at a prestigious uh, art school, um, arts plural many arts uh performing arts and um yeah set design even i think they have people that do set design and all kinds of good stuff dancers and singers and musicians yeah yeah i've seen some really um uh impressive shows there and uh, i've seen john toss a triangle mallet across the orchestra pit into a music stand and that was that for me that was one of the best moments i have to say that was an incredible moment. He scared the orchestra half to death. This was a quiet time, and he just chucked that triangle beater across. But it, it was good. It was good stuff. It was very dramatic. I don't remember it being a triangle beater, but okay. yeah, I don't know. It was it was some kind of a mallet that went flying. It was it was a timpani mallet. It was a timpani because mallet. Yeah, I, a lot better than a slide off a trombone because that's, that's true. Really... That's true. That could have been disastrous. All right. So um, let me pull up the booklet. We're gonna do some warm ups. And we'll do some playing. Uh, by the way, the booklet is up to 83 pages. Of course, the 83rd page is um, blank measures because that always cues us that there's more to come, right? So that's important. All right, here we go. Fours. <laughs> One, two. One, two. Ready and right. Down, tap, tap, up. Down, tap, tap, up. Down, tap. Oh, my, my overhead light is off. That's why it looks dim over here. I was trying to figure that out before. On the left and down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up. I wish I had a remote for that light. Down, tap, tap, up, down. Down, tap, tap, up, down. Down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up, down. Down, tap, tap, up, down. Down, tap. Tap, tap, freeze on the right end, down, tap, up, down, tap, up, tap, up, down, 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 tap, up. Left. Down tap up, down tap up, down tap up, down tap up, down. Down tap up, down tap up, down tap up, down tap up, down. Down tap up, 
down, tap up, down, tap up, down, tap up, down. Down, tap up, down, tap up, down, tap up, down, tap up, down. Two's on the right and down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. On the left and down, up, 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 down. All right, now we're going to go over to accent combo number one, three, two, son clave. One, two, one, two. On the right and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, four, one, two, one. One more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two. On the left, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, pop, 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 and rumba clave right. Bossa clave right. Pop, 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 left. change the page real quick and do the last one and then we'll go into accent sequence one so accent combo four one two ready go one two three four one two three four one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two both one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two one one two three one two three one two one all right now we're gonna do accent sequence one on the right one two Ready and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. One more time. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. On the left. Down up, down up, down up, down up, free. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down tap. Up, down up, down up, down up, down up, free stroke. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down tap. All right, hold it right there. Uh, interlace. One. Uh, we're going to page seven. 
uh, number one, pattern one. And yeah, we'll just go through the first group. So page seven, accent pattern one. One, two, one, two, fours on the right end. on the left threes on the right left twos on the right Twos on the left. I forgot that I had a um, number th uh, 2A and 2B. <laughs> I kind of skipped that before, didn't I? We should go back to that one. Um, I'll, I'll do a clean stop and count it in. So we're going to go backwards. Wait. Let me get my glasses so I can see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. To be or not to be. That is the exercise. Number uh, Page 7, bar 40. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One is. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one. And the and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one a two and a three and one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one chit chit neutral I'm gonna change the page now we're going up to page eight. Now we'll do the double accents. One B, one, two, one, two, ready, and. On the left. Threes on the right. Left. <laughs> that wasn't the cleanest. Twos on the right.
twos on the left. I'm going to swing it a little bit. Back to straight. Back to swing. All right, neutral. All right, so now I'm going to move us up to. I've got to come back to those since we're in a different tempo category. Uh, let's do our rebounds and doubles. All right, here we go. Ramp it. All right, here we go. Eight on a hand. We're on page 20. Two zero. Depending on which booklet you're in, it might be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have that problem tonight, right? John's got that low volume Sabian crash over there. All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pat's still scrolling. <laughs> Rebounds. It usually it used to be page 17, I think. Or page 13. <laughs> I don't know. Pages are flying. <laughs> Rebounds. We got it? Eight. One, two, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. Six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. Five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. One two three four five 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 one four one two three 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 four one 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 two three four one two three four one two three four one one two three four one one two three four on to three one two 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 One, two, oh, Vincent LaRussa. <laughs> Might have to resize the window. Huh? Here it comes on the bottom. All right. Doubles. Oh, no, he's going to play bass while we're doing this. <laughs> I'm having so many issues. I'm so stressed. No bass playing tonight. We'll work on your technology later. <laughs> Here yeah, we go. please. I don't even know where we are, so just t tell me what we're doing. All right, we're on. Um, we're on holding pattern, waiting to go into double strokes. Okay. The whole doubles routine. Turn your mic I off. Just, okay. <laughs> one, two, one, two doubles and.
Hey, Pat, I know you like seafood. Vincent's got a fish tank right next to him. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, five stroke roll, I'm ready to go. One and two and a three and one and two and a three and. Back to doubles. Six stroke roll, ready, go. One, and 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 doubles. Seven stroke roll, one and a two, and a 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 one and two, and a one and two, and a one and two, one, two, one and two, one. This is Vincent's rudiment. So you see his head starts bobbing every time we do this one. One, two, back to doubles. Sorry, that was short lived. <laughs> ah, just for him, let's do it again. One, two, seven stroke roll. One and a two, and a one and two, and a one and two, and a one and two, and one. Back to doubles. Ah, I thought that might cheer him up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go to um nine stroke roll. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two. Five and one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, five and one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five and doubles. <laughs> All right. Ten stroke roll. Ready, go. One, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. And three, and three, one, and three, one, two, and three. It's like a hectic waltz. Two and three, one, two, and three. We're trying to waltz on the New York City subway system. Doubles. Turning the page. 11 stroke roll. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, 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 doubles. 13 stroke. In the seven four time, it's very progressive. One, <laughs> two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and one, three, four, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and one, three, four, and one, two, three, and doubles. Fifteen stroke, ready, go. One, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, three, one, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, three, one, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, three. One, two, three, and a four, and one, two, three, four, and doubles. Moving the page, moving the page. We're going to, oh, yep. All right, 17 stroke, one. Everybody good? One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and doubles. Roll come a one, one, two, ready, go. One and a two, and a three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, one. 
Comma three, one, two, ready, go. One and a two and a three and a four, one and two, three and four, one. Singles and doubles, number one, page 24. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, triple, four, triple. Little breaker. Cool. Very, yeah, very where's nice. The latest P where's the latest PDF? Uh, it's I in the chat. The one. It's in the chat. Oh, okay. All Pull right. up the chat window. You, you should be able to download it. Okay. Um, while we're at this juncture, I'm going to let me uh, hit the chat window just to see. Yeah, I don't see it in the chat. You don't see it? No. Okay. I'll uh, I'll throw it in there again. Thank you. I will do that for you, sir, because you're such a nice boy. I don't care what Lucia <laughs> said about you. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, the, the doc won't move. Wait, hold on a second. I'll try. I'm going to try to do it. Don't hurt yourself. I'm not. I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> um, come on, chat. There we go. All right, let's see. I just put it in there again. You should be able to see it. All right. Let me know. All right. Here we go. So, um, I think let's do, I made a list <laughs> of some greatest hits that we're going to hit. But these are some newer greatest hits. But I think let's go back to... Um, one thing from earlier that I just want to go over one time, which I think we'll just do interlace combo 1A. So this is on page 9, all the way back to page 9. And I'm going to set us up a click. Um, Okay, so interlace 1A. Uh, let's see. I'll give you guys a nice, easy triplet, 76 beats per minute. So this is interlace 1A. So this is going to be basically just playing the three-note pump in six tuplets, then the two-note pump in six tuplets, then the three-note pump in six tuplets, then the four note pump and six tuplets, all in a little uh in a little routine, so that we're just playing it instead of um one e and a two and three and one e and a two and three and a like like we did in the beginning. Now we're doing one triple entropy, two triple entropy, three triple entropy, four triple entropy, one, 
Okay? So that's at the one. We're going to do it. If it's too new for you, when in doubt, roll, right? When in doubt, roll. 1A, page 9. Here we go. Let me put quarter notes. It's going to be just annoying to listen to. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so, and that one, I just, I was switching sides going, doing the double stroke to flip to the left, and then to the double stroke at the end of the left two times to go back to the right. You can always work one side at a time. There's no, there's no um, rules here. You can do whatever you want. Um, but working the both sides is really a nice thing. It's just throwing a diddle at the very end of the, uh, it would be line 59. You could see in parenthesis, there's a little right stroke there. And that double right would flip you over to the left side. And then you could work your left side. And after you repeat the left side, you could do that little double left to bring you back to the right. So the way I played the routine was two times right, two times left. Um, and you could see the little double strokes there. And you can also, I mean, in your own practicing, just work one line at a time in your own practicing until it really grooves. Because this should groove really well. Like, in other words, if, if I just do line one... One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. You could do just one hand, work on your threes, and then the interlace version. Right? So you could work that, you could work the left side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. See, we're still keeping that shape. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then you could work the second line, which is two note pumping in triplets, which would sound like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. hear that two against three. Two, you could do it on the left.
What's the other hand doing? It's filling in tap strokes in between the threes and the twos. So in other words, like if I'm playing the threes, my other hand is just falling in between the cracks and just really playing very lightly. I mean, I'm playing full tap strokes. You know, my height. I'm not playing super, super low. I'm not ghosting it. And then when I'm doing the twos, same thing. It's falling in between. And just really listening for that continuity and that evenness, right? And then when we go to the fours, we're doing... One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And against the click, it would be this. Three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two trip, three, let four, one, two trip, three, let four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? So we're playing those groups of four. Even though we're in triplets, it's groups of four. And then you drop the other hand in. Three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four trip. Three against four. One triplet, triplet, three triplet, four, one. Right? So that would be that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is very, very exciting. Um, okay, so that is that. So that is the interlace combos 1A. And then I'm not going to go over the variations tonight of that, but the variations would be pinning double accents um, and then split accents on the same idea. Oh, and then... I did make a 1B, which is kind of newer, which 1B is on page 12. And the only difference with 1B and 1A is instead of playing groups of three, uh, we're interlacing the groups of three with the left hand playing this, which was, we did that earlier tonight in the interlace with this. So we're replacing that first measure with that sticking, I mean, same sticking, that accent pattern uh, on the first measure and the third measure. So it'd be like this. Three triplet, four triplet. I played a different variation in there, didn't I, on the first one? But yeah, so that's it. I'll do it one more time. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. that one's new I know everybody needs to kind of play with that um, and that's a fun one I mean as far as like your perception of what's going on with the time it's really interesting how it shifts so we're really bringing out the one and two and three and four and in the first bar right one triple entry two triple entry three triple entry four triple entry one and two and three and four and and then in the second bar we're bringing out quarter no triplets one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then the third bar, we go back to a one and two and three and four and. And in the fourth bar, we're bringing out half no triplets. Triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. And this is why I recommend, you know, working each measure individually and getting it down before you put it all together, rookie. So um, 
but it's it's a it's a fun one. So that's one B on page twelve. And now, let's just do the one rate exchange. Let's do um, page fourteen, five stroke roll rate exchange. And actually, I'll use um, synced for that one. So I'm going to pull up the metronome synced. Not the, you know, it's funny. The synced logo and the Nam Show logo is the same for their apps. So like, I keep bringing up the Nam Show <laughs> instead of synced. It's like, no, it's not Nam time right now. All right. My chains. Let me pull up um, five stroke rate exchange. So what we're going to actually listen to are eighth note triplets, quintuplets, eighth note triplets, eighth notes. There's only four bars long, but it's it's very subtly tricky. <laughs> right? So here's what this one sounds like. Ah, Vincent's got the good headset now. Come over to the dark side. Look, everybody's got the, 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 the headsets. It's so funny. There's a, there's five of us with Audio-Technica BPHS1s. If that company doesn't realize that I am influencing an entire generation of drummers with headsets. <laughs> All right, here we go. I just an added endorsement to your... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I've spoken to Audio-Technica. They know about me. <laughs> I bothered them. All right, here we go. Oh, let me give us a count in. That would be helpful. Two, three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. There it is. All right. So again, you know, this could be one that you work individually. So you could, for instance, you could set up using a regular metronome, set up triplets, let's say, eighth note triplets, just to get used to the first measure, right? So you could do. Right. Right. And then play with that. Change the tempo up. Stop it, metronome. And then you could <laughs> and then you could set either quarter notes and play your quintuplets. So you could do you could either do this or we can go back to the um, we could do this. Two yen, three yen, four yen. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Or, if you have, um, if you have something like synced, you could put on just quintuplets, and quintuplets would just be, where's my quintuplets? There they are. Which are kind of, you know, it's kind of in your face, but anyway. Oh, this is only sixty. One e and a la two e and a la three e and a la four e and a la one e and a la two e and a la three four e and a la one e and a la two e and a la three e and a la four e and a la one. And then the last one, you could either listen to eighth notes or quarter notes. So I'll go back to my other metronome, um, not Drum Guru, although Drum Guru is a very cool little app that you should definitely check out. The brainchild of Rob Wallace and Joe Bergamini. Um, here is uh, quarter notes. So this would be one and two and three and last measure, the fourth measure. Two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and one, right? And so you work on the eighth note rate. 
And then the idea of this is sort of like an imagine an accordion, you know, kind of pulling apart and pushing together with the rhythm. It's kind of what we're doing. We It's a little condensed. Then we open it up a little bit on the fives. Then we squish it back together a little bit. And then we're like, oh, my God, and squish the whole accordion. And then you play the last measure. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind it. And the sevens do the same thing. The nines do the same thing. Um, I did want to, like, hit a couple other things that we haven't done in a little bit. So I'm going to give you guys a page number in a second here. Um, I thought it might be, uh, depending on t on how we do on time, let me just go to a couple of things. So I should give you guys a choice. <laughs> I did write down a bunch of quintuplets on this thing. Um, what do you think about either an inverted roll thing or some more quintuplets? <laughs> what does Bob say? Quintuplets? All right, because, and actually it's more of what we just did. So it's nine stroke roll quintuplets and single quintuplets. So, and I also have go to bed, go to bed Tom in there. So we could do some, I mean, I'm sorry, Lucia, you're right. Go to bed, go to bed, Bob. So maybe we should do that one last because with the double drag tap, we might lull Bob to sleep and then he'll just be over there sleeping on his practice pad. Then his what wife page? will come down with a bucket of ice water and throw it on him. <laughs> yeah. Page number? So uh, let's do page 40. And I wrote down... Um, I'll give you guys um, the, so this is the quintuplet rolls grid. And, and so I wrote down that we could use, we can use the quintuplets uh, in synced, in sync, sync, synced. Why do I have that NAM show logo is really messing with me now, synced. And we'll do the quintuplets gr uh, grid to that. And, um, what we're basically going to do is this. So page 40 is a bar of quintuplets. One E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, one. And we're going to do the preliminary exercise, and then we're just going to roll the quintuplets. Just like at the end of stick control, when you do the tens, this is the exact same thing as the tens in stick control. So we're going to go, I'll, I'll just show you the exercise. One E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, roll. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a roll. So we're still playing quintuplets. We're just doubling. We're doing double strokes on them. And I set it at 60. It's nice and slow. Um, three, four. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one e and a la, two e and a la, three. Four e and a la, one e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one e and a la, two e. Three and a la, four e and a la, one e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one e. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. Money and a la two e and a la two e and a la four e and a la one e and a la two e and Okay, so that's the first one. I just got a Facebook notification. Um so that was the first that was the preliminary exercise. Now what we're gonna do is number one, which actually goes um four lines and repeats. So it's you know my little three four trick of flipping sides. So we do a bar of quintuplets, then a bar of nine-stroke roll quintuplets. And the way that's going to work, which is what we did earlier in the booklet, is this. I'll just play the first line. And let's all loop the first line. Same thing. But now we're hitting one E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, one. We hit that single stroke on the downbeats, right? So it goes like this. Two, three. Four. <clears throat> one e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and 
E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, one E and a la, two E and a la, three, four, one E and a la, two, three, four, one E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, one. One E and a la, two E and a la, three E and a la, four E and a la, one. Okay? The only trick is we're going to actually have uh, bars of 3-4 going on. So it's going to go a bar of 4, a bar of 4, a bar of 4, a bar of 3-4. Go to the left. A bar of 4, a bar of 4, a bar of 4, a bar of 3-4. Go to the top. Go back to 1. And we're going to loop it. So it's going to be 8 bars in a loop. Loop it, baby. All right, here we go. 2, 3, 4. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one e and a la, two, three, four. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one, two, three. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one, two, three, four. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, what? Two. Three, one e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. Three, one e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. One e and a la, two e and a la, three e and a la, four e and a la, one. And that's it. That's the whole exercise. So, not bad. And it's, um, you know, just getting used to that quintuplet nine-stroke roll, which is, we did that earlier, right, in our rate exchange. All right, I'm going to do one more of these little puppies. One more little puppy. I want a little puppy. I have a little puppy. Actually, he's not very little. I have a big, tremendous puppy. I have a video of my big, tremendous puppy practically knocking Vincent's head off in my kitchen. <laughs> as he tried to uh, lick his entire face. Cooper's good at that. He's very entertained by, you know, he's a funny boy. All right, let's see. Uh, should we just do something super simple? <laughs> I was going to do go to bed, go to bed, Bob. <laughs> um, where did I write that? Where did I put it? Oh. Is it all the way up on 72? No. Could it be? Maybe it is. I think it is. Oh, no. That was that was the uh, flamilies. And I had some paradiddle diddle combos written down, but um, where is it, kids? Where's my drags? Okay. Ruffs. Drags. Where's my drags? Oh, it's after flams. Hello. I'm lost. No, it's not. It's before it? Oh, man, come on. Where is it? Didn't this happen to me last time where I couldn't remember where any of my pages were? Um, let's is see. Is that page 47 you're looking for, roughs? Yeah. No. no. Am I? No, I'm looking for drags. Sorry. <laughs> Where's my drags? Oh, no. Is it just that I'm turning pages too quickly? All right, so... I wrote all the pages down that I wanted to do, and that was one of them, and now I just can't find it. Lucia, help. Lucia is always good. She might know. Wait, let me see if I find this. It's right after the cheese. There it is. Okay. Huh. There it is. All right, so here it is. It took me a second. Oh, 81. I didn't write that on my list. That's why. I wrote it in my brain. But I didn't actually do it. <laughs> All right, so this is the same the same idea, but we're gonna do um, double drag taps. Ba da ka da ka ba da ka da ka da. So it's bed go to bed. I mean Bob go to bed go to bed. Bob go to bed. Yeah. So the accent is Bob. Everybody just say Bob on the accent. Page eighty one. So it sounds like this. Bob, go to bed, go to bed. Bob, go to bed. Bob, go to bed, go to bed. Bob, go to bed, go to bed. Bob. 
And if you think that this is a farce, it's in the front of the Wilcoxon book where he talks about the double drag tap. And um, Klaus brought that to my attention. And then I looked in the Wilcoxon rudimental swing solo book and where his explanation of the rudiments is, it says the interpretation of the double drag tap should sound like go to bed, go to bed, Tom. And then I crossed out Tom and I wrote in Bob in the book. So we made it more authentic. All right, here we go. So it's going to be the same quintuplets uh, reference, okay? And then we're going to play one bar of the drag tap, which will be into just quintuplets. All right? Sounds like this. Three, four. Make sense? And then the one that follows it is the same thing, but with the nines that we just did, right? The nine stroke roll. So you do the same thing. Nine stroke roll. So we can do that. Two, three, four. Indeed. That's the idea. Not bad, right? So we did some quintuplets work. I actually had many other things on my list that, of course, we didn't get to, but um, I try. I try to get to them. Uh, Vincent LaRussa is playing the video of my dog uh, trying to eat his head in my office there. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a handsome boy. He really is a handsome boy. Good job, Vincent. That was excellent. <laughs> Uh, he opens the show and closes the show. That dog is very talented. <laughs> uh, well, I have to say thank you all for hanging out tonight with the uh, with the workshop, you beautiful six humans. Well, I shouldn't count myself. You other five beautiful humans. And um, yeah, that was good. So uh, I think there's. I may be able to. Well, I have some things that I didn't put in this booklet because I figured I'd give you guys a mental break from it. But I do have more pages, so maybe we'll get a new one out uh, this week. <laughs> Another booklet. Oh, where did uh, Pat disappeared? Poor Pat. Oh, is he ringing to come in? Let me see. That's funny. I didn't notice that I think when Vin shared the thing, Pat got scared and he dropped out. He was like, oh, my Thank God, what is that? What is that animal? Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up. I suppose if, if Pat joins us in the after party, that's fine. Um, I'll see everybody on Monday with Stanton Moore. We'll be doing our little, uh, interview slash hang, which I think is going to be super fun. I love Stanton. He's a really funny guy and, um, and he's a good guy and his, uh, engineer Nick will be hanging out with us and Nick, Nick's a great guy. And, um, so You'll see the uh, the Sonos team, <laughs> right? So, um, and you know, um, there's a bunch of these coming up interviews. So really watch for that. And um, also, Vincent and I, and Mike Bruton are going to be coming up soon. And I was talking about that for the April 19th one, where we're going back to the my early rock and roll fantasy days when I was 10 years old. I'm going to find this. I have this great um, set of pictures where I'm in full kiss makeup at like 10 years old with a bicycle chain around my torso and we have road flares burning and candles and like this drum set and I'm on top of a picnic table 
doing like a full on kiss show in my garage and we sold tickets and other kids would come and watch us do this crazy performance and of course you know we were faking it we had a live two or a live on something like that on through the speakers and we were just playing along to the record but uh the neighborhood kids thought it was pretty exciting uh that we recreated the ginormous multi-million dollar stage show with some road flares and a broken candle so uh there it is yes like <laughs> yeah exactly um so i'll see everybody on monday you guys have a great week I'm going to roll the titles if I can find my OBS window, and um, and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye, my little Zoom squad and all my beautiful peoples.